Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the channel. We are back. I'm going to do a quick walk around. I'm going to show you the flaws of this car and what we're planning on doing with the car. This is an original paint 86 Grand National. It's got 43,000 original miles. Almost 44 maybe now. Uh, really nice car. No rust issues. Just It's got the original paint, which is the checkered issues. Original bumper fillers, which are starting to deteriorate. Which I have new bumper fillers for the front and i got to order the one for the back still. But as you see, looks like there was some kind of, they tried to touch something up here. I was going to wet sand and try to fix that. But the rest of the paint has the Buick checking all throughout. So it's original paint. That was a flaw from the factory. Just on the top panels. From five feet away, it looks great. But when you do get up close, it's in, you, know, you can see it. Wheels are in phenomenal shape. No issues with any of them. No curb rash. Looks like one one wheel he said he replaced the guy before me just because it started to pit a little bit, but you know you got a little bit of a spot, maybe a bird spot that you could probably wet sand out, but I haven't tried yet because it's original paint. It does have a sun power sunroof. I'll go around I'll show you from the other side. A couple little dings here in this quarter that a paintless dink I can probably take care of. I have a really good one. So that's my plan is to get him in here and hopefully do that. Bumper fillers need replaced again. You can see this one finally fell off on the highway the other day. Uh, like I said, I have brand new spool full bumpers for the front. I just need to get the rear. The rear is $400. Very straight down the side though, the car. Super straight actually. Door shut great. Lower doors. Great shape both sides. Seats are perfect. I just use a towel because I'm a bigger, bigger guy. I just don't want to rub the seat when I get in and out, so I put a towel down. But it's inside super nice. Uh, it does have gauge, has a pill gauge, also has the, the boost control right there. Really nice shape all the way around. The back seat's perfect. Headliner has a little bit of sag, not too bad unless you have the sunroof open and you can see it a little bit more. Door shut great. Trunk is super solid. It's got the RPO code sticker there which no one touched. Here's that Buick check I was telling you about. And then the power antenna gave out. So instead of messing and pulling the fender back, I just put a, you can't see it from anywhere, I, the hidden antenna. Just so I get all receptions and I, I just didn't want to pull fender and mess with that uh, antenna yet. I'll do it eventually. I just it's easier to put that other one. Any questions feel free. Uh, like I said, we'll have the bumper fillers in, in this week and 